Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Asha Mac. On this channel, I make lots of videos about self-publishing, illustration, small business, and entrepreneurship. So if those topics interest you, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I make a video. I have done a little bit of work on figuring out just how to do some professional looking mock-ups that you can kind of create without having to download all of those weird, um, you know, mock-up designs and all of that. So if you'd like to know how to make a free mock-up in Canva, stick around. All right, so let's get right into it. I am going to start out by first creating a design. Now for this particular um, mock-up, I'm gonna do, I need just a square. So I'm gonna go to create design and I'm just gonna select Instagram post because as you can see, it's, t oops, it's 1080 by 1080, which just means it's gonna be a square. And uh, depending on how you save this, it's not gonna matter uh, because if you save it as a PNG, the pixelation is a lot better. It's a bigger file, but it's better than if you save it as a JPEG. And then if you want to resize it and make it larger for something else, you can do that. And it just stays in the square shape. So I'm going to go over here to backgrounds and I'm going to choose a background. And I am a one trick pony today. So we're just going to use this same wooden background that you've probably seen me use before. I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to grab the cover that I want to use. Now, as you can see, this is just a straight up flat cover. There's nothing to it. So we're going to need to make a drop shadow. Now, I know if you have the paid version, you can use the edit images and there's like effects that you'll have, but we don't have that or we're not using that today. So I'm going to go over here to elements. And I am going to choose this square shape. And in order to make it a drop shadow, we're going to make it like a light gray. We're, we're going to use that gray color. And then I'm going to size it to be the same size as this. Um, which I'm going to move it over a little bit so that I can grab it when I do this. I'm going to go here and I'm going to position it to the back. So now I have it to the back, I want to, and I'm going to um, use my arrow keys on my keyboard. It's not, why is it not letting me? Oh, it is. Okay, I'm just moving slower than I thought. And I'm going to move this around so that, and I want my shadow to be to the right of my cover, to the right and to the bottom, I believe. And you want to make it kind of like that. I'm going to go to transparency. And I'm going to bump that way down, not too far. I'm going to bump it down so that it just gives you that hint of a shadow. And that's all I'm going to do for that. And I'm going to group it so that now, once it's grouped, you can move the two of those things around together. And you see that dotted line around it. That just means that it'll show you that you have something grouped. Now, to make this like an announcement, I'm going to move this up to the top. Let's go to elements and find some kind of like banner or ribbon. Perfect. Oh, that's, that's a pro one. So we want to stay with the free ones. I wonder if this one will let you change the color. Yes, it will, because I do want the banner to be red. Let's do that deep. Oh, that's really actually kind of cool looking. So we're going to make this a little bit larger. And we can actually make this larger too. We don't want the banner to be bigger than the actual reason for the season. Let's turn this a little bit. You know, I like turning things on diagonals for whatever reason. Let's see, no, I really don't like that. But you can kind of manipulate these things However you see fit. I'm so sorry if you can hear my children screaming in the background. But that's just how it is. We've got to get things done. Go to get some text. And we're just going to pick um, something that's kind of 
All right. And we're just going to do like a coming soon. So we'll put this here. I'm going to make the text white. And we're going to put coming, oops, soon. Just like that. And let's see if we can't, there we go, position that a little bit better. Coming soon. Let's group that together. So now we have that. And I actually want to give this a little bit more depth. I think let's see if we put like another shape. So let's do a circle. And put that circle like this and let's make it real big so it kind of is behind everything. And I'm really just kind of making this up as I go, so forgive me if it seems a little silly. We're going to put that all the way in the back. Mm, I don't think I'm a fan. Let's maybe lighten up the transparency. I might actually make it smaller. But you see how you can kind of like create some sort of something. And maybe I wonder if I have yep. I have a Pinecone City logo. And we'll just kind of plop that somewhere. Where do we want to plop that? Go open the door and let him out. And plop that. Mm, maybe not. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to put the website down on the bottom. So we're going to put it here, and we're going to put www.pineconecity.com. And let's size that down a little bit. And there you go. Like, just like that. Like, you can make a kind of mock-up, whatever suits your preferences. But that just gives you kind of an idea of where you can go with that. So, I hope that helps. Okay, and I also want to let you guys know, um, on a side note, if you wanted to make a mock-up that didn't have all the background stuff. Oops. Didn't have all the background stuff. I'm just going to copy the um, mock-up that we just made and paste it into this next page. Now, when you're using the free version, when you download a PNG, like it gives you the option, download PNG, you would, uh, if you're using the paid version, you would want to just do a transparent background. And then that white background would be gone and you would just be left with this mock-up and its shadow. However, for all of us uh, free people out there right now, we can just, um, this is just in theory, I thought about this. We can size this so that it is super large. We're gonna just call this fake background. And I'm going to download that and see what happens. So we're just going to download this second page. And just to see what it looks like once it's downloaded. Yeah, so just like that, you can see it around the edge. You have your um, shadow, your drop shadow, and you have your mock-up. So because you saved it <clears throat> the full size, of the document, you would just size it down to whatever size you want it to be. The unfortunate part would be that you would still have in these corners here a little white speck. But, I mean, if you're just trying to slide by, just slide on by. And once you make that money, you can come back and pay that twelve ninety five a month and get, you know, all your backgrounds removed. I am done. And so that's it. It's very simple and you can get really creative. I know I kind of just did a general 
uh, mock-up and you know you can change the background you can change all the features and make sure that you're adding your announcements if you're um, going to be in a location selling your book or whatever use that opportunity when you create these mock-ups to you know kind of add that in with your banners or some medallions or what have you if this was helpful to you please let me know in the comments and until next time be blessed